right, my people, my people. All right, this is a long overview topic. Today we're looking at Pythagoras theorem. And what I want you guys to do, I want you to, first of all, this applies to right angle triangle. And what makes a triangle right angle is when one angle is equal to 90 degrees. So it's basically a straight. All right, 90 degrees, right? So what I want you guys to do, I want you to do this physically for me. Draw a line and measure it 4 cm. Draw a next line and measure it 3 cm. Pause the video and then come right back. All right, guys? All right, guys, welcome back. So now I took the privilege of drawing up this. Now, you are given 4 and 3 and you are asked to measure it with your ruler and you should have gotten 5. Now let us investigate how you got 5 and how we could have predicted that it would have been 5. Now, if we examine this closely, we draw a 4 by 4 square and we have a 3 by 3 square. So a square has all sides equal, right? So this is 3 centimeters. Do the actual measurement, guys. So this is a 4 by 4. So everything is 4. And we're going to examine the number of squares and look at the relationship. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we got a total of 16 squares. Let's just check for the 3 by 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we got 16 for this one and 9 for this one. And when you measure it, you should have gotten 5. So let us examine this. If you were to draw a 5 by 5 square, so a little bit lean, but don't worry about it. The objective will be met. Split this up in a 5 by 5 and count the number of squares and then we examine it, the relationship between the numbers, right? So a little bit lean, but just work with it, guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 25. So let us look at that. When we did the side with 4 gave us 16. The side with 3 gave us 9. And the side with 5 gave us 25 squares, right? These are all squares. So let us look at it now. 9, 16 plus 9 would give us, let's just see, 16 plus 9 would give us 25. Well, 25 minus 9 would give us 16. 25 minus 16 would give us 9. So right here, guys, we see a relationship. It is, it's as if the squares... It's this side square plus this side square is equal to this side square. So that's exactly what the Pythagoras theorem is. It's the opposite and adjacent sides. When you square them, whatever length it may be, or whatever length you are given, we actually get the, the squares of the hypotenuse. Amazing. And these were invented by black farmers. So don't listen to some of them. Alright guys, so now we are going to the politics part, but let us look at one more. So we are given this one. One side is 6 and one side is 8. And guys, we are not going to draw the squares this time. We are going to use mathematical terms to solve this one. Alright, so we know that if we draw a square, a 6 by 6 square here, and we cut it up in 6 by 6, that is the same thing as 6 squared. We get 36. 
And if we do the same thing for this, a 8 by 8 square, we will get 64. And we know that the sum, so when you add this and this, we're supposed to get the side of this. So, let us do that now. So, 6 square plus 8 square would equal to this side square, right? So, let us call it x square. So, let us do it. 6, 6, 36, 8, 8, 64. And it will be the number of squares, right? So, this would be, add this, we get 100. But, just like what we did with the 5, when we got 25, it's like as if we find the square root. So now, we have to find the square root. So therefore, the square root of 100, what number you multiply 100 by to get, what number you multiply by itself to give you 100, that will be 10. So the length of this will be 10 centimeters. Magic, guys. And these are done by black people like us. Amazing, amazing. All right, let us look at another one. This one seems to be a little bit different because normally we find this side, but now we are given this side. Now this side is known as the hypotenuse. And the hypotenuse, let's suppose a symbol HYP, is the longest side. So if we have the longest side, it's obvious that we cannot add this because we'll have get a bigger number than 13. And we can't get a bigger number than 13 because the hypotenuse is the longest side. So it simply means if we add this and this to get this, it means that we can do the inverse, which is to take away. So let us do that. So it would be this side square, which is 13 square minus 5 square. So 13 times 13 is 169 minus 5 times 5 is 25. So that gives us 4. That gives us 4 and 1. So therefore, y squared is equal to 144. So in all, we know that these total 144 squares, but that's not the answer, right? We need the length. So we want to know what square would give us 144. So we find the square root. So that would be 12 because 12 times 12 is 144. Just amazing, guys. Just amazing. Maths is beautiful, man. Alright, guys. Now I want you guys to try this one. So the hypotenuse is 25 centimeter. The opposites are the adjacent side is 24. And the opposite are the adjacent side is Z. So find that. Leave it in the comment section. Just want to get a feedback as if you guys understand, alright? And I will see you guys in the next video.